No, you missed that. You missed that. That went over, that went over our head. Watch this now. Watch this now. Watch this now. Watch this. So, so therefore, what God does is he goes to the crime scene and he washes their fingerprints off the crime scene. Please, please, please hear this. And as he washes their fingerprints off the crime scene, now, if you go in with bitterness and anger and hatred in your heart and carrying the luggage of your pain and refuse to let them go, the only fingerprints left on the crime area are yours. You, you, you're, not, you're not seeing it. Look at me. Which means, if you're still talking about it, you become guilty of the sin because you're the only one there. So now, your prayer life is hindered. Because whatever you're angry about that they did, if they repented, God released them from the crime scene. They ain't even thinking about you. And the only person there. So now, saint, who ain't never done nothing wrong, but been done wrong, and you're always a victim. Lord knows I'm a victim. You don't understand. Ten years ago, such and such. Five years ago, this happened. And you stop living at that moment. Ask your neighbor, when did you stop living? Look at me. Look at me. Because most folk I talk to are always rehearsing something that happened in their past. And the reason where they are now is because they died somewhere at the hands of somebody and they have not released them. And some of those folk went to God, got forgiveness, and you're the only one still sitting in the bad place. And God's saying, well, I can't bring up what they did. So the only one there in the balcony is you. If somebody robbed the store, took the diamonds and everything else, and they wiped their prints, and you walked in there and were standing in the store, looking around, touching stuff, and then the police got there, and you were the only one in there, and they lift your prints, you going to jail. Touch your name and say, same principle. What, 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 what's this? What, 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 what's this? What, what's this? What's this? What's this? God gave us that as an example for us to forgive. He said, forgive your enemies. That's what Jesus had to do. He said, matter of fact, don't just forgive them, love them. What's this? He said, forgive those who despitefully use you and speak evil against you. See, forgiveness is a much bigger issue than we make it. Because if you don't forgive, you become a partaker of the sin. Which means now I have picked it up. So when I come into the presence of God with that crime, it hinders my prayer life. And I'm guilty of something somebody else did because I got my prints on somebody's luggage. Now watch this. So I got it. I'm carrying it around with me. In other words, God can forgive them. And if I hurt you and call on God and repent and tell God I'm sorry, God will forgive me and he will let me go. But if you don't and you're still sitting there wishing I burn in hell, you now hold on to that sin. What's this? What's this? So now I'm a partaker of somebody else's sin and my ultimate purpose and theirs is being aborted because I'm not being like Stephen and releasing them. I'm holding them and not only am I holding them, I'm holding myself. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Please hear this. Watch this. When you pray, Jesus is a priestly fellow. Disciples go to him and say, you know, teach us how to pray. He said, I'm going to teach you. Pray this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. He, he, 
he either blessed us in that or cursed us. He said in that one little line, Lord, forgive me as I forgive. He says, every time you pray that, you're telling God, forgive me for my stuff like I forgive others when they trespass against me. How much leverage or leeway have you given God to forgive you? Somebody wronged you, but yet if they repented, got saved and repented, and God forgave them, when you talk to God about how you've been treated, God never sees them at that place. He only sees you. Don't hold on to your pain another day. Take the first step to a life without bitterness and resentment by ordering forgiveness today. Call 1-800-98-JESUS. That's 1-800-985-3787. Or log on to our website at newbirth.org and download the MP3 today. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. One for the Father, one for the Son.